Science. Five-year-old Eugene suffers from a rare disease called smith lemley opitz syndrome. This causes him to have weak muscles and to grow slower than other children. Three years ago, his parents decided to try what's known as dolphin-assisted therapy. They travelled to this remote resort on the Indonesian island of Bali for him to receive treatment. Dolphin-assisted therapy emerged in the 1970s as a possible treatment for depression and later as a means to help children with autism and other mental and physical disorders. It's two main things, the animal contact, what helps the people and also the sonar the dolphins have. They have influence on the brain waves and the membranes of the cells to improve several things like um, motor skills or speak skills. According to his parents, Eugene has shown remarkable progress since he started the therapy. But not everyone agrees with the practice, which has been fiercely criticized by some researchers and conservationists. They say it's no more effective and considerably more expensive than conventional treatment, and that it can potentially harm both humans and animals. There have been reports of serious injuries to people who swim with dolphins, and detractors say forcing captive dolphins to interact with a continuous stream of strangers causes stress to the animals. The intelligence and cognitive functions of dolphins have long been known, but scientists in Florida have found a surprising new ability. These dolphins, who were blindfolded with latex goggles, were able to detect and follow their companions' movements. Just how they do this is still under study. Dolphins have the ability of so-called echolocation by sonar, very similar to bats. But whether it is this that allows them to mimic other dolphins remains unclear. However, scientists hope these tests will open a whole new insight into dolphin intelligence and maybe better grasp the complexities of human intelligence.